Hello ladies and gentlemen, this is Takeover back with another video for you guys. Uh, this video uh, is basically talking about a video on demand add-on called 2B TV. I recently uh, discovered 2B TV about a month ago. I previously heard about it, but I've never actually uh, been able to download the add-on. I don't know if it was down at the time, maybe like four or five months ago when I tried to download it, but it's back up. Um, and pretty much what a video on demand add-on is a one-click add-on you click on the movies and they actually play you're not relying on unreliable sources to populate in your choosing one then you get halfway through a movie and it starts buffering or it drops and I've been using Tubi TV for about a month and every movie I've clicked on has actually worked I hadn't had any issues as far as the movie dropping so let's get into Tubi TV and what I did, I actually installed it on my desktop, well, on my main menu, uh, so that um, I won't have to search through my add-ons. And it actually has 30, 46 sections on here. New releases, popular feature, action, drama, thrillers, black cinema, classic cinema. And what I'll do is I'll actually just scroll through these and I'll just randomly click one and we'll go into it. Here's kids shows. And I'll just randomly click on the uh, kid show as well. Best Ed. And they have the episodes here. I'll just click on one. And there you have it. On all these videos and movies in here, the clarity is great. You don't get any uh, terrible resolutions. Um, let's try action. Well, recently added, and I'll just scroll through and just click one. It's Benny in June 1993. Click on it one time, and there you go. I hadn't had one movie in any of these categories not play on initial click. Let's try one more. Let's try sci-fi fantasy. Let's try a promise of time travel. And there you go. Plays immediately. You're not waiting on sources to populate. Um, and it's 46 categories, so whatever movie mood you're in, you're gonna find something that you like. Um, and like I said, they're very reliable. You don't have to deal with any drops. And there's also another one called Fluxus TV. It's in the Maverick TV add-on. I installed it on my sub menu. I just want to show you this one as well. These are the top VOD add-ons, video on demand add-ons that I've actually found. I've never done a video on any add-on for Cody. Uh, because I've never really been super impressed by any add-on because they always pull from the same sources. But these two I've been highly impressed with. Let's click on Almost Christmas. What I've noticed on the Fluxes add-on, it takes maybe four or five seconds longer to play, but Fluxes actually get the more current movies a lot faster uh, than Tubi. But Tubi has uh, a better library. And there you go. And let's try another one. It's going to randomly scroll. Uh, the Amazing Spider Man. And there you have it. And let me show you how to actually install Tubi TV. For you guys who don't know how to use File Manager, go to Settings, File Manager, Add Source. Well, actually, I already have the source, so let me just. What you'll do is you'll click Add Source, and you'll actually type in HTTP for colon forward slash forward slash top tutorials repo dot co dot uk forward slash Cody. Then you'll go down here and name it whatever you want to name it. I name mine TT for top tutorials. Click on OK. You'll go back out. Click on your add-ons. 
install from zip find that TT click on repos and you'll be looking for a repository BG there you go click on it mine is gonna say updated but yours will say installed BG add-ons repository go up click on repository install from repository find BG BG add-ons click on it go to the video add-on section and here you have 2B TV you just click on it mine says uninstall because it's already installed you'll click on it because yours will be labeled just install and it'll actually be enabled on your system and what I did I actually added onto my desktop well my not my desktop but my main menu so I can just go right into it and pretty much also what I did I actually used a lot of sections in there for my uh, widgets up top before I could just one click on them versus you know clicking on these movies up top and having to wait on sources populate so let's just click on true grid and there you go they even play fast even as widgets if you guys want to know how to actually install things on your main menu go to settings interface configure scan customize home menu and I already have to be installed on here but I'm going to add one more section then you click on choose item once you highlighted that section go to add-ons video add-ons and let's find Tubi TV click on Tubi TV I'm just going to name it uh, something different I'm just going to choose one of these sections how about that uh, let's click on new releases and it's just to show you guys how, you, how easy it is to actually install something uh, on the menu if you actually have a bill but you want to include a different another section on it uh, to kind of customize the build itself click on save and it's going to build the skin menu you see 100 percent at the bottom i back out and here you have new releases click on it and it'll take you right into the 2b um new release section and here you go click on a movie and let's see how fast it actually plays. And there you go. The second one, uh, video on demand add-on I want to show you guys is called Fluxus. It's actually, if you have Maverick TV uh, add-on or uh, at the Flicks, you should have this Fluxus uh, video uh, on demand add-on in there. It's a subcategory inside of the add-on itself. Uh, it also has uh, maybe around 1600 movies but what I noticed about Fluxus is the videos that they have are more current uh, than Tubi. Tubi have pretty much have uh, more array or variety of movies. Um, Fluxus typically deals with the newer movies um, but it actually is a little slower to play. It may take you about five seconds so let's click on Cloverfield Paradox. Came out in 2018. Probably take five more seconds, but you're still not having to search sources. And there you have it. Also, guys, if you download a build and you know you don't have any add-on, any specific add-ons that you pretty much favor on this on the bills or you want to just modify it um, if you go into your add-on section I encourage you guys to go into repositories because each bill has a uh, array of repositories um, however the builder may not have chosen to use all the video add-ons so you pretty much have video add-ons at your disposal click on all repositories here video add-ons because it's what we're looking for and you have a ton of add-ons in here that are not installed on the bill but hey you may like those add-ons so 
So just go through and explore your bills that you actually download because you may actually just be downloading, deleting and downloading bills based on add-ons that you wish you had. However, you can easily install them through a repository that may actually have that add-on in there. Or you can just search on YouTube and find out what their repository is, go to their file manager and install it and say jug Juggernaut. It's simply clicking on it and clicking on install. The add-on is now actually installed on my Kodi. Click on it. Let's open it up. And if you want to start this on your desktop or in a submenu, just follow the steps in the skin settings. And there you have it. Um, if you guys have any questions uh, or have any recommendations on any videos, uh, please uh, feel free to shoot me a message uh, Give me a thumbs up if you guys don't mind um, I hope I helped you guys out as far as how to actually install an add-on and actually install it on your, on your uh, Your main menu or subcategories uh, But definitely check out 2 TV. I think it's probably one of the dopest add-ons I actually use because I, I typically haven't been too impressed with add-ons because they're all pulling from the same sources and you always have drops with Tubi TV you're not gonna have to deal with any sources and it's enough array of movies from classics and different categories that you're definitely gonna be able to find something to watch but definitely check it out shoot me a comment and let me know what you guys think thanks